So today we're talking about how I save for and afford luxury because spoiler alert, I'm not a millionaire. <laughs> I'm not Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I'll wait. Okay, you got it? All right, so you hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the notification bell right next to it. That way you don't miss any of my future content. Hit the thumbs up button for this video if you wanna see more content like it. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram over at Carolyn Gray Today where I post up more day-to-day -day things that are going on in my life and then just kind of hang out with me over there. So today we're talking about how I save for and afford luxury because spoiler alert, I'm not a millionaire. <laughs> I'm not even close to a millionaire. <laughs> so let's just let's just dive right in to kind of the, some of the things that I do to save for my luxury items. Um, number one thing, and I can't stress this enough, budget your money. Tell your money where you want it to go. I think this is kind of um, 101 for a lot of people when you're trying to save for something, whether it be a new air conditioner, a new purse. Whatever you're needing to save for, you need to know where your money is going so that you know how much money you have extra every month. Um, and so I, my husband and I have followed the Dave Ramsey program before and we followed it to a T to get out of debt. And let me tell you, that program works. It absolutely works. It does take flexing some self-control muscles <laughs> to be able to have the money you need and telling your money where to go. And I think that is one of the most important things you can do. And that's why I say it's number one. Sometimes you might come into money that you weren't expecting if a loved one passes away or if, um, you know, you get a stimulus check from the government and all of your bills are paid and taken care of and you've got your emergency fund set, you now have uh, a little bit of extra money to, to do with what you want. Um, and that is always up to your own discretion and how you're gonna do that. If you wanna put that in savings, put some of it in savings, spend some of it. If you wanna go out, go take a vacation, whatever you do with that money, just please make sure your bills are paid first. That is the, like the most important thing. We always make sure our mortgage, our cars are paid. I'm trying to think the dogs have food. We've got food on the table. We've got clothes on our back. Like these are the needs in life. And then we get to have fun with the wants. My husband's a fisherman and he like the fun things he likes to spend money on is fishing. I like to save mine up and spend it on some luxury items, something that I've been maybe looking forward to getting for a while. So those are all things um, you have to decide for yourself where you want your money to go. And remember that everybody has different priorities in life. Me, I save all my extra money that I can get and I put them towards a luxury purse or a luxury good of some sort because like that just makes me happy. It's just fun to get something new in the mail that I've picked out and I've saved for. And I think things um, that come too easily don't bring you as much like satisfaction. So anyway, that is my number one tip, budget. The second thing I do is we just save. So we each get an allowance. We get allowance money each week and I basically take that money and I don't even take it out of the bank. I just keep a note in my phone and I add in what money I've saved up now. Um, for my birthday, I always get, my husband and I just give each other cash. Like we just take the cash from the bank and or like I just put it into my virtual bank. I don't actually take it out in cash. And that way I know like I've got X amount more towards my next purchase. Um, typically for my birthday, I will ask my family if they wanna do something that they just, you know, give me cash so I can put it towards something that I really, really love and not anything that I'm going to end up donating in a week, a month, a year. Um, I have something in mind. I have like two things in mind that I, three things in mind <laughs> that I really want to get soon in the future. Now that's the beauty of wish lists. They change all the time. You guys, I've shared my wish list with you. And since I've shared that video, I think I've added and taken away things multiple times. So, um, so second tip is to save money. And another really cool thing that again, LV Coffee Lover, um, something that she's done and I'll link her channel again below, but something she said she does, I think so she sets aside ones and $5 bills or maybe just $5 bills. So any $5 bill she gets that she doesn't need for something, she puts it aside and that goes towards her luxury purchases. Since we don't use cash a whole lot anymore, that's a really cool system because hey, if you get a dollar bill and you start putting that aside, all it takes is putting, you know, 10, 20, 
40, 60, 80 dollars, whatever, a week, a month, whatever you can afford, just start putting it aside. It's not that you can't afford luxury items, it's that you just haven't taken the steps to get there just yet and I am here to help you get there. So kind of the third and fourth um, tips I have for you are similar. Um, I would say if you already own luxury items, but you have luxury items that you're not using and you don't have any kind of attachment to, let's say you've gone through the whole like disassociating <laughs> process that there is. Um, I have one purse down here that I'm really considering selling. I think it's a Cabo Smiso or Piano. I can't remember which is a smaller one. It's a beautiful bag. It just has too much vachetta for me and I'm afraid it's, it's along the bottom of it and I haven't used it. I got it two years ago. Uh, for my birthday and it's a beautiful piece. It's very similar to the Neverfull. I'll do a whole video on it, but I never ever grab for it because the bottom, the entire bottom is the Vachetta leather and I just don't want to ruin it. So that's one piece that I'm kind of in the midst of like uh, putting some distance between myself and it. I probably need to carry it one more time to see if I really do like it or not. Um, and I don't know, even saying that I kind of feel like no, it's 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 time to find a new home for it. So that's just one thing is you can sell some luxury items that you already have. Uh, and then if you just look around your home and you see things that you're not using. So I went through my craft room and just cleaned it out. I know in the um, <laughs> the videos that you've seen, the vlogs that I've done, my, my craft room, my office, like it looks ridiculously um, packed with stuff and it still kind of is. Um, there are some things that I still need to get rid of, but what I did was I went through it in January and I got rid of an entire box of just craft supplies. And I think I ended up selling it for a hundred dollars even, but there was a ton of stuff in there. The lady got a steal of a deal, steal of a deal. Um, and she was ecstatic to get it. I was ecstatic to get some space back in my room and get rid of some stuff that I wasn't using and I wasn't going to use ever. Um, I just kind of become a collector of things, but not only did I do that, I went through our entire house and there were things that when we moved in here three and a half years ago, I have not touched since. And of course I checked with my husband to make sure it wasn't something that he wanted to hang on to. And we just started listing things like crazy on Facebook marketplace. And we did that when we moved in as well. And so that kind of, you know, that money can go towards a future luxury purchase purchase. Sometimes he and I, when we sell stuff like that, we will just kind of split that money because it's just extra money from the sale of something. Sometimes we put it into the um, shared bank <laughs> that we have. And um, yeah, it's just it's just some extra cash that's lying around. You're not doing anything with the stuff anyway. So why not make a little cash on it? If you miss it, here's how you have to think of it too. If you miss that thing that you sold, hopefully you'll be able to buy another one one day. Um, if you're not sure if you're gonna miss it or not, don't sell it just yet. Keep a hold of it. See how often you reach for it. This is the same thing for closing your closet. Um, you could sell on Poshmark. You could sell it on Facebook Marketplace. You just purge some things that you no longer need. Okay, so tip number five is going to be to use a cash back, money back reward program. I personally have decided to use Fetch Rewards and it's an app that's on your phone. I take pictures of my receipts and it uploads them and I don't know what they're using that for, but I earn points. And with those points, you can end up purchasing like gift cards, Amazon gift cards, Visa gift cards, you know, whatever. I would probably go for a Visa gift card because I don't think you can use an Amazon gift card on Fashion File. Different ways, like you're just getting cash back from things that you wouldn't have anyway, like you wouldn't have normally. So why would you not just go ahead and take a picture of that receipt? It takes you about two seconds, open the app, take the picture, let it um, do whatever it's gonna do and you earn those points and then you earn that cash back. So um, Louise Lane is the one I signed up from her and I know she said that she's already gotten maybe two or three gift cards back from it. I just think it's so easy and such a simple way to earn some money back, some cash back. So I'm doing that. If you want to sign up for Fetch, I have a referral code down below. And when you sign up, I think you get extra points for signing up using that code. And I will also get some points from you signing up. So feel free to use that. And um, we both benefit. So tip number six is again, just a really simple one, but look for ways that you can cut spending elsewhere in your budget. So we've talked about budgeting already. Now let's talk about, let's look at those line items in our budget and see, are you going to Starbucks every day? Are you spending, you know, $10 at Starbucks every day? 
All right, what if you cut it down to, let's say you went five days a week to Starbucks, $50. What if you cut it down to three times to Starbucks, Monday, Wednesday, Friday? So Tuesday, Thursday, you make coffee at home. You now have $20 every week that you can set aside for luxury items. Um, what if you cut it down to only one time a week? That's $40 every week that you could put aside for your future luxury purchase. So when you look at things like that, I mean, do you have a Netflix uh, do you have a Netflix account that you don't use anymore? 10, 12, $15, whatever it is. Um, you can cut that out pretty easily and just get that money back into your account every month. And then you could, you could either create a separate account in your bank and just have them transfer money over there. And that way you have it set aside, you know, it's there. It's also then, um, you can like if you needed it for some emergency thing it's still there it's not like you've pulled that cash out you've you've still got that money in the bank that you could use for anything surprise budgetary financial need that comes up but you can also visually see that growing if you have it in a separate account online and that's really exciting too to watch that money grow and um, number six and i think you guys are gonna go okay carolyn that was super obvious because that's what you do <laughs> buy pre-loved. I know, I know. If you want to go to Louis Vuitton or Gucci or Chanel and have that experience, by all means, do it, but you're gonna have to save up for a, a little bit longer. Uh, Louis Vuitton, maybe not have to save up that much longer, but Chanel, I mean, they just had a, Louis Vuitton and Chanel both just had a price increase and you know what? It's gonna be, it's like such a bummer when you're so close to like having the money that you, you need to purchase an item and then they raise the price on you and now you have to save for another however long because I Chanel bumped it up quite a bit if I if I recall correctly anyway so you would have to save up longer and if you just go the pre-loved route if you save up the amount of that that purse there a lot of times on the pre-loved market on fashion file for sure there's a lot of new bags that come up that are in excellent condition. There are some that are not new, but they are in excellent condition. So you could automatically save money by buying pre-loved. Do your research, know what you're looking for, study the pictures on any pre-loved website and know what you're getting into. Definitely know the return policy because if it does get to you and there's something on those pictures or that wasn't on those pictures, but shows up on that purse and you're not happy with it, you wanna be able to be sure that you can return it. I know that there are a couple of vloggers that I, or YouTubers that I follow that have purchased on a pre-loved site. It was not fashion file and they received the item and it was different than what they ordered. So all of those steps that I just said, do that and don't be afraid to return it. I mean, if it's not what you wanted, if it doesn't work for your lifestyle, Again, don't remove the tag from the bag until you know you love it. So you can always go into, I'm going to talk specifically Louis Vuitton, you could always go into the LV boutiques and stores and check out the purses that are still made um, in the store and see which one you like. Most of the purses that I have are still made and are you could still go try them on and or um, buy them in the store. Uh, there is a pre-love store near me like near where I work. And so if I ever have a question, like I think I guys, I may have told you, I may not. The Speedy 25 Bandolier, I wanted to see it in person. I wanted to see how small that bag actually is. And when I went into Keeks, which is near where I work, um, I was pleasantly surprised with actually how spacious it is. It seems so tiny, but like it really held, it really holds a lot. And same for my uh, Omprant bag. So all of those things, like you just have to know, um, you just have to do your research. You have to compare pricing. You have to know what you're okay with flaw wise. I'm usually okay with interior stains and that stuff. If it's not crazy, I don't want it to smell, but every purse gets kind of a musty odor and you'll see that that's a, a very common description verbiage for it. But one more, one more tip and trick that's kind of a bonus one that I guess I didn't even really think about until just a minute ago is look for ways to make extra cash aside from selling stuff and aside from doing all that if you have a hobby like a craft like I have my Cricut machine that maybe you want to make some t-shirts and sell those maybe you want to make baby onesies maybe you want to make you know mugs like put some vinyl on a mug or whatever like if you want to get crafty and sell that on facebook marketplace or sell it to your friends and make a little extra cash whatever your side hustle is 
incorporate that and take that money and be disciplined and say that that money is going to go towards X until I get that whatever that I want, whether it's experience or purse or whatever. This is how to afford luxury on a budget. So um, I think that's everything that I have tips and tricks wise. That is, that's what I do to save for luxury. Again, we're not millionaires. We just budget our money and tell it where to go and then get to spend it how we like to. So my priority again is getting these really beautiful pieces while Justin's is fishing gear and neither of us, um, it's funny cause we always say like neither of us really understands the others like want to spend money on that. But we also like, if that's what makes you happy, go for it. That's all for today. If you guys have any tips or tricks on how you save for luxury, let me know in the comments down below so that I can start incorporating that into my life so I can save more money faster. I will talk to you guys next time. Bye. Hit the like button for this video so that you... Simple one, but fairly quickly. Oh my gosh. It does take some, it does take some, beginning of the year. Oh my gosh, Carolyn. Think it through. Or five, so tip number five, not 10, five. But I do have it, I just like, I take pictures.